Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It's gonna be 20 degrees today, hence the summer outfit. And tomorrow over the weekend, it's gonna be 26, 27 degrees, which is crazy. Obviously Celsius, which I'll put in here what it is in Fahrenheit. And we're still like mid-April, so it's not even officially summer yet. So we're getting a really nice dose of warm weather, sunshine. So I wanna start out this vlog today by sharing a little bit about a new health journey that I'm on right now, which is healing my nails. If you know me, you know my channel, you know that I love to wear nail polish. Not necessarily like crazy designs or bold colors, but just like nice, neutral, glossy, neutral colored nails. I love that and I've been wearing them for years. I did take a break when I was pregnant with Nalia just to reduce the amount of like toxins and chemicals that I was breathing in when I would go get my nails done and also of course like them just sitting on the nails and that was a really great break for my nails but since she has been like two months or so I've been going back to the salon getting my nails done and I do gel polish I do a gel kind of underlay which makes the nails really nice and strong and hard so that the gel polish can last even longer it's kind of like an acrylic but just in a gel format and the problem with that is not only the actual like nail polish so the chemicals and things that go into the nail polish like actually being on your body but it's also the removal process so every time they remove the nail polish they will use an electric file and that also files down your own natural nails and over time it makes your nails incredibly weak and brittle and i just got to the point where i needed a break and i Put it off because it is not an easy journey and process to go through if you are somebody who loves nail polish and loves the look of nail polish and just like for your nails to feel really nice and strong because the only way to really heal your nails is to let them grow out naturally and let all of that damaged nail just simply grow out and that can take months i'll show you guys a little close-up of what my nails look like so you can already see the regrowth of the nail and where the nail is damaged from doing the manicures constantly the difference in the nail is just crazy like you can really see how it grows i'm so happy that i just bit the bullet and just did it i'm not pregnant <laughs> that was a huge motivator for me the first time around that i did this but now i just really felt the need to let my nails breathe and allow them to grow up because i could just feel them being really weak. As I did this, I was looking online for advice on how to heal damaged nails after acrylics because my nails looked so bad the first few days. I found this incredible woman online called Anna. She has a nail salon. The channel name is called The Salon Life. Practically her whole channel is about how to regrow strong natural nails, especially if they have gone through some kind of trauma, over filing, they're super weak, and brittle from wearing nail polish for years and I have just been soaking up her content. She does these incredible videos on how to do a natural manicure at home and really teaches you how to treat your nails. Like this, not to be dramatic, but this has changed my life in terms of how I see my nails, how I care for my nails. I would literally go to get a manicure every two weeks and now learning from her how to do it at home and how to do it safely and actually have it be healthy and beneficial for your nail has totally changed my outlook and my view on how I will do things with my nails moving forward. Also the fact of how caring for your nails it's not what I was taught and it's not what they do in nail salons. For example, the cuticle, I was always thinking about the cuticle, you gotta push the cuticle back, cut the cuticle, but I haven't done that in weeks since taking my nails off or the gels off and the cuticles look amazing simply because I'm keeping them really hydrated, I'm putting jojoba oil on them multiple times a day. I will share exactly what I've been doing a little bit later on in the video and show you the things that I'm using as well, but I would highly, highly 
highly recommend checking out her channel i will have it linked down below her content has like literally changed my life and as much as i love taking care of my physical health my emotional wellness my mental well-being are huge priorities for me as well it's something that i talk a lot about on my channel i really feel that the state of our lives our happiness the quality of relationships and just how we operate day to day it really starts from our mind and how we think about the world having a healthy strong relationship with ourselves and really getting to the bottom of the things that are bothering us like those are the signs that is where we need to look to what are the blocks that could be standing in our way in order to get to that next step in our life. Sometimes it can be so helpful to speak to somebody who is professional and trained and unbiased to help navigate a difficult situation that you might be in or problem solve or even just to bounce ideas of. It can also come from a place of really being inspired of wanting to change your life, not necessarily that you might have a problem that you wanna fix, but more so of setting up goals and routines and how to stick to those and actually achieve those. Speaking and working with someone can be super, super helpful for that. I've personally done that in my own life and I've had such great success. And I would highly recommend it if you've been thinking about it, which is why I'm really excited to be working with BetterHelp on this video they are kindly sponsoring this portion. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful and unbiased advice. First, you go to their site. You can visit my link, betterhelp.com forward slash Jeffrey. You answer a few questions and BetterHelp will connect you with a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. And you can do it all from the comfort of your own home, which I love, either via phone, phone or video call, even text messaging, whatever is the most comfortable for you. And you'll be matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours or less. So you can get started really fast. And if you feel like your therapist isn't the right fit, you can switch therapists with a click of a button in your settings. They make it really simple to do this and it's at no additional cost. If you want to try out BetterHelp and let them connect you with a therapist all from the comfort of your own home, you you can visit my link betterhelp.com forward slash Jaffrey that will get you 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Again, the link is betterhelp.com forward slash Jaffrey and I'll have it down below for you in the description box as well. So since the weather has been so warm and beautiful the last few days, we've been making these healthy popsicles at home and they are so good. We've been having one pretty much every night after dinner with Nalia and it's been so fun. So this is our popsicle mold. It's from Amazon. I will have it linked below. And we've been making a few different flavors. So starting with the strawberry one, you could also use raspberries or even mixed berries, either fresh or frozen. I'm adding in about a cup into my blender and then some organic plant-based yogurt. This particular one is very rich in protein too, which is great. You can also use Greek yogurt if you are not sensitive to dairy. And then one tablespoon of maple syrup for some sweetness. You can also use honey or any other sweetener of your choice. Add a dash of vanilla and that is it, you guys. Such simple ingredients, but it truly tastes so, so good. Just blend it up on high speed until it's nice and creamy and then pour it into your popsicle mold. The next flavor I'm going to do is chocolate banana. So starting with putting one whole ripe banana into my blender and then about a teaspoon of pure cacao powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a couple of tablespoons of yogurt, this is the same one that I used before, and one tablespoon of maple syrup. And again, a little dash of vanilla. And this combination is also so good. The next flavor is going to be mango coconut with a little chia seed in there too. I had a fresh mango today, so I'm using that, but you can definitely also use frozen. And then for the base, I'm doing coconut milk this time. This flavor combination of mango and coconut is just on another level. Then one tablespoon of maple syrup, again for some sweetness, just blend it up. Then before pouring it into the mold, I'm adding in about two small teaspoons of chia seeds and mixing it in. This will add a nice little bit of fiber and good omegas to the popsicles as well. 
I've got one little space left here. So for this one, I'm making a matcha coconut flavor. So first prepping the matcha, just like I would do it normally if I were to drink it. So pouring in a little hot water, mixing it up, and then I'm adding in that same coconut milk as before, about half a cup or so, and then a dash of maple syrup, mix it up and pour it into the mold. As you can see, the ingredients are really simple and straightforward. You can definitely get creative with these. You could even add veggies in there if you'd want to, like spinach or cucumber. There's really no right or wrong ingredients or amounts. I would say just pick a fruit or flavor and then a good base like yogurt or coconut milk, a little dash of sweetener, and that's it. You can really have fun with the flavors, get your kids involved, and it's such a great healthy alternative for a dessert that's perfect for spring summer. So beautiful we had the most incredible weather we were out pretty much the entire time I feel like I even got some color on my skin which felt incredible I literally have not felt the Sun since last summer because we didn't go away this winter so this has been so nice my cup my vitamin d cup has been refilled a little bit hopefully if you guys also live in europe you also had a great weekend with warm weather i would love to know how it is now where you guys are so i want to chat a little bit more about this new nail journey that i'm on share a few of the products that i'm using and a bit of my routines it's been a very emotional experience for sure just letting go and accepting the current state of my nails and i use my hands so much every day our hands and our fingers are truly such a special part of our body and i feel my nails now like when you have overlays acrylics gels you get this kind of like artificial hardening of the nails where your nails feel super strong and if you bump into things or you pick things up or you need to open certain things or peel certain things off like you can do that with those kinds of nails but when your nails are rebuilding and they're damaged you're letting them grow out like your nails are so much more sensitive which is another reason this has been such a huge experience for me i just have to be so much more careful and gentle with my hands and yeah they definitely look different compared to when you have nail polish and it's that super like beautiful glossy finish and all of that i'm gonna get into some alternatives in a little bit but yeah the process has definitely been a process <laughs> a very emotional experience just really accepting letting go also accepting not having things be perfect in nature things are not perfect either and i think especially women as high achievers being into taking care of yourself being into beauty and social media it is very tempting to do the things that you can do to feel and look beautiful but at the end of the day if it's causing damage to your health and to your natural state which my nails are very damaged right now i really had to ask myself is it worth it is this something that i 
want to keep doing? Is it sustainable? Is it something that I want for my daughter? With that said though, I am so excited about this new journey. I've never done it like this before because even when I had them off last time, I didn't know how to properly take care of them. I still hadn't found the videos and the content that I know now. So how to actually take care of my nails, like how to really care for the nails, moisturizing them. I never did that last time. Like I would do it sometimes, but not on this regular basis that I'm doing now. And also how to choose the correct nail polish. My goal is just to have beautiful natural nails, strong, healthy, with healthy, good skin around the nails, nails that are easy to maintain on my own. I might still have a regular mani or pedi in the future, but nothing like with this thick overlays that I used to do before. Just having and maintaining healthy, strong nails, mostly by myself, doing weekly manicures, pushing the living skin back. Honestly, not even cutting the cuticle, which the cuticle, by the way, is not what I thought that it was. I'll put in this diagram that Anna showed on her channel. You don't even need to be cutting this cuticle unless you are gonna be applying nail polish. And when it does come to nail polish, this is something that I want to have as an option if we do have like a special occasion or if I want my nails just to look extra shiny and beautiful. She talked about this nail building base coat from Catrice. I have not tried this yet, but I believe it has a nice shiny finish. And this does not contain one of the ingredients that can cause yellowing of the nail, which is also something that I learned from her channel. So that's a clear polish that I can apply on top if I want like an extra shiny look. Yeah, I'm just really excited for this process and just to have truly healthy natural strong nails i think about if i'm ever gonna miss that look going through this process and learning what i've learned the real flex is having strong natural healthy nails that you've cared for and that you've put effort into not just having like an aesthetic exterior that looks really pretty and really shiny but underneath your nails are destroyed and suffering that for me is not healthy and beautiful and something that i want to strive towards definitely this has taught me a lot about acceptance of our natural beauty without trying to get emotional like having my daughter and seeing her growing up and seeing how beautiful naturally she is without all this stuff that inspires me tremendously like seeing her and her beautiful nails like obviously she's never done anything to her nails like we cut them we file them but she is the most beautiful thing in the world for me she inspires me obviously i think taking care of yourself grooming like doing manicures but healthy manicures i think that is all great like i love to still you know maintain things and have things look beautiful but in a healthy way that's not compromising my body and the chemicals and the things that are going on within myself like I don't think that that is worth it when our natural state is so beautiful to begin with also in case this topic of doing your nails is not something that maybe applies to you maybe you never wear nail polish or you have just like very naturally healthy strong nails think of this topic instead of as something that you might be doing that you know is not beneficial for you in the long term like you know that it's something that you want to stop but you're afraid to because it's hard and you know that there's going to be like a little adjustment phase and finding your sort of feet again and finding a new normal whatever that is to you for me this is the nails like this is something i've been thinking about for a long time okay i want to share a few of the tools that i'm using right now to take care of my nails firstly what's really important is a great nail file this is a glass nail file apparently these are the best for damaged weak nails and they're very easy to clean as well i probably found my nails like every three to four days just a little bit right now because they are so damaged i am just keeping them very very short and waiting for the damaged part to grow completely out then i'm also using this tool to push back the living skin mostly this angled edge right here so i just take the back of it and i just push back the living skin very very gently to allow the nail to grow out without the skin tugging at its way i use this pretty much on a daily basis and then i use this this has been like my saving grace 
throughout this process this is pure organic jojoba oil and i apply this to my nails multiple times per day especially after i've washed my hands because water exposure is actually not very good for the nails of course along with harsh detergents soap things like that this oil is very similar to the oil that your body naturally produces so it can be recognized and absorbed really easily by the skin so i've been doing this multiple times per day especially again after hand washes before i go to bed at night i've also been applying a really thick foot cream that has urea to it on my nails i have it by my bedside i'll pop it in here i apply this nightly to my nails as well it's obviously great for cracked skin it's made for feet so it's super nourishing anna from the youtube channel salon life the nail technician that i mentioned she really likes the brand carousel which i have ordered it just hasn't arrived yet first i didn't find it here but they do have it on iherb so that means that you can pretty much get it anywhere so i've ordered that i believe that one also has some salicylic acid in there as well which is a great exfoliant for the skin too and then generally just being really mindful of my nails because they are so weak right now so imagining when your nails have just been painted and you have like a wet coat of polish you're not going to go and like rummage through bags and open cans and stuff like that so just being as if you have wet nail polish on your hands throughout the day and just being really mindful and gentle with your nails that is something that i've been thinking a lot about as well and other than that just having a lot of patience and again acceptance of where my nails are at right now i'll definitely share some updates and progress pictures in a few months so you guys can see how they're growing out i think that, that is really cool to see personally it's very motivating i want to share that with you guys as well in case you are also on a similar journey or you've been thinking about it but in the meantime i will have the tools and all of my favorite products that i'm using right now linked in the description box along with anna's channel as well i would highly highly recommend checking it out it's popsicle time Yum. This is obviously the berry one. Most favorite was the chocolate. Yeah, such a clean formula. Literally like a smoothie, but just in form of a popsicle. The last few days we've been having dinner and then we will have a popsicle with Nalia. It's so cute how she eats it. <laughs> <laughs> She's so funny and I feel like totally good about it because it's like healthy homemade and she's so happy we have a fun little announcement that may or may not apply to some of you yes guys it is actually happening we are starting fundraising we have big plans we are considering to not only through vcs and high individuals angels we are also considering a little crowdfund to give the option for some of our community to join the fundraise and participate in Nurse 3. So when this video goes live, you guys can go to my Instagram and there I will have some stories of some uh, questions. It will be a poll. If you want to participate in some matter, it would be really great to hear from you. But also if you're just a fan of the brand or you want to know more about what we're doing, then definitely head over on my Instagram and you can see some of those questions. It would be really nice to get your feedback. And if you're really interested and you would like to speak to us about it a little bit closer, you can reach out to me and you will link my email address. Obviously in these vlogs, we show you guys like the fun things that we're sort of doing on our time off, but know that behind the scenes, Nourish 3 is like 99% of the time that goes into our days. If you guys are interested in learning more then you can reach out to mo and yeah again definitely go over on my instagram so you guys can see the questions and we will be raising uh, eventually um through our company as well as an spv if some people will know what an spv is but as i said we are also considering a crowdfunding part we are considering investments all over the world we are not limiting it to any country or so that's a really exciting time and yeah, as Annie said, reach out. Let me know if you want to know more about what we're planning and really looking forward to get some feedback from you guys. You say we call it a good night? Oh God, you already <laughs> called it a good night. I was just sitting here and Nalia was, and Annie was actually putting Nalia to bed. 
I was sitting here waiting for Annie and Annie just I fall asleep. asleep. <laughs> I straight fell asleep. I feel like it's 3 in the morning right now. <laughs> yeah. I have all the melatonin just flooding through my body. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure to check the description box down below for links, recipes. Everything that I mentioned will be linked for you down below. I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,